Alright, I'm all healed up, or at least mostly healed up. The vast canyon, I wonder what we will find ahead. The mysterious statue. Yeah, I've seen a couple of those so far. Take this. Are you gonna give me more max revives or something? Wow, right on cue. I swear I did not look that up for anything. You found it beneath the paradise. Alright, well, never mind. So you're gonna go and uh, we're gonna catch up with you. Strong enough to save your mother and Nebby, so the, the to-do list here is growing. The Vikaval and the rest of my team. Yeah, Vikaval's out in the leadoff spot. At least I assume that's why you named that Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Let's enter here. Yes, I'm not tuckered out quite yet. Oh, trainers. There are trainers in here. Hello, trainer. What do you have for me? Another thing I've noticed about experience in this game, aside from apparently random encounters giving you the same amount as trainer battles, is that, um, is it really worth my time using super potions on Grey Lady? Um, it seems like when you switch out mid-battle, both people, both participants get the full amount of experience, um, instead of it being divided among everyone, which is pretty cool. It basically means you can double the amount of experience you get in a battle just by switching out. Uh, Backpacker! I guess so. You're here. I'm here, ain't you? Purdy even mean? Let's see, it looks like I can summon a Tauros, and I can smash through these rocks, and get to a secret area. Or at least an area that's a little bit, uh, cut off from the rest of it. What's in this hole? In this hole is an item that is an elixir! Not one that I have terribly a lot of use for, but I guess it's still an elixir. Um, I've already fought you. Alright, so running up here, there's more space that I can charge through the Tauros. And this is going to be an item of a Max Potion. Okay. Let's see. This doesn't go anywhere, right? Yeah, that's a ledge. Alright, so all these gold bats aside, this is a double battle. So who do I have in the one and two? I need a heal for one. Alright, this looks a bit better. I'll be... Magikarp switching these guys out as soon as I get into the battle, most likely, depending on what these people have. I believe this is a pair of Ace Trainers, if I'm looking at the uniforms correctly. I am very serious, actually.
interesting fact. Um, I know the type of Alolan Dug Trio, or Alolan Sand Slash, even though that thing came out well after I decided I was going to avoid spoilers. Because, uh, when X and... not X and Y, uh, definitely not X and Y. When Sun and Moon came out, outside the GameStop that I was waiting at, uh, there was a guy who was doing Pokemon trivia, and one of his trivia questions was what two types are Alolan Sand Slash weak to? Is Alolan Sand Slash weak to? And... Uh, it, it's definitely part ice, just looking at it, and I believe the, uh, the next best guess to make it four times weak to two types would be, um, uh, like steel. So, fighting and fire, or whatever that comes out to be. So yeah, that's the story of, I, sh I didn't mean to do that, that's the story of how I know Alolan Sand Slash's type. And that has apparently almost gotten me through talking through, uh, the session of healing my team. Anyway, now that that is done, I see there are more... Was there any point in doing that? Oh, I guess if you wanted to avoid the trainers. Alright, so let's be a little more careful now. Up these steps, these are not steps, but up here anyway, uh, it looks like I can go out onto an, a higher part of the canyon, I guess. Uh, this is tall grass, no? This counts as tall grass. Can I find anything in here? That was... was that a revive? Alright, nothing that I haven't seen before. Was that another sparkling spot? Okay, I thought this lighter spot on the wall was a sparkling Zygarde cell or something. Uh, across here, and is this actually the same map that we were on before, or is this just, or is that just like a low polygon version of the map that we were on earlier? I don't know. Um, I have to dismount here, unfortunately, and I'm going to be going back inside the cave. Perfect. Um, how many more trainers are there? Okay, so this is a sparkling Zygarde spot, and this I'm going to need a Mudbury for. This is a fork in the road. Is this going to be another situation where I can either use a field move, field move or talk to a trainer? It looks like it. Okay. The Pokemon that live there and the trainers you'll meet. Hikers and Pokemon games so weird. All right, all healed, and this statue is popping up again. This is a very short indoor segment. Uh, a very short indoor segment. What is this? Another hole that I can crawl through. I'm not sure if that's really what you want to be doing when you see holes in the wall. Oh, hey, it's a trainer. I like Pokemon too. I like battling too. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be playing this game. That is what I like to call being brain dead. Okay, um, I need to heal. Anyway, with that aside, yeah, that was not the best battle I've ever had in my life. That is an escape rope. And I guess if I really need to get out of here quickly, Mudstale! This is a situation that calls for you. Can I run into random encounters on the rocks? I hope not. Oh hey, it's another trainer. I can get into trainer battles on the rocks, it seems.
Mana revived, so I can't really bring that Salazzle back to life, which is unfortunate. Um, that's just a different way around the rock. And I can come out here. What is out here? Oh, TM, TM, be good, be good. That is Dazzling Gleam, which is a decent fairy type move. I don't know if anybody on my team can learn this. Can anybody on my team learn this? Um, TMs are going to be here. Dazzling Gleam is not able to be learned by anybody. Oh well. And I'm back here by the bridge. It would seem that, uh, plot points. It would seem that level uh, wild Pokemon are almost being weak enough, or in terms of level. Let me start that again. It would seem that the wild Pokemon are almost weak enough in terms of level that I might actually be able to use repels again. Uh, which I haven't really been able to do since I arrived on this island, because everything's like mid-40s. You're not scared of heights anymore. Yes, uh, the one on the hollow trail. This is my trial. So, um, do you mean to tell me that the Department of Transportation has finally fixed that bridge? Also, that looks as ridiculous as it was the last time you did it. Sorry. Murkrow! What are you planning? It's only a Murkrow! They're only Murkrow. What are they going to do? Use Peck on you? And Night Slash and every other move that Murkrow has access to? Yes, you did make it all the way across. And of course, all I have to do is look at them and they run away. Or get what they want and, I don't know, walk away happily? I don't know. Um, in any event, Lily's pretty happy about herself. Yes. Everybody on my team wants a rep. Did you really just heal my Pokemon? Wait a minute. Are you a healing point? I really hope you're a healing point, because I think I'm going to need that quite a bit. Anyway! This goes on, doesn't it? Okay. Um. That is a Zygarde thing. Uh, that is that weird boulder that was... Can I talk to this hole? I cannot talk to this hole. Uh, this is one of those weird boulders that I saw in the jungle. Oh, so this is a strength boulder. Which is funny, because I wasn't able to do this to the, the boulder in the lush jungle earlier. Was I not doing something right? Anyway, let's see. Um, oh, I see what I had to do. I'm going to have to re-enter this area. 